Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Welcome back guys. So on this episode, we're gonna to try to check out some of the most awesome, epic camp spots here in the Blackwater region of West Virginia. There's also a fire tower hidden out here somewhere that we're hoping to find and hoping to get up and hoping to take some awesome shots so you guys can see it too. So come and join us and let's see what we find. So the first leg of our journey is putting us on public road 18. It's a very, very mellow, just trail through the woods. Nothing too crazy as of yet. Not to say that that won't change here in a little bit. Race to the tower before sundown. This is our first obstacle that we actually ran into on this trail. The trail itself has been pretty easy so far, but we gotta get across this. All right, so I'm the first one over this obstacle. It looks uh, pretty steep. That's pretty steep, you know, going into those things. You never know which way the ground's gonna give out on you. Yeah, I mean, that's why we do this. We enjoy the four wheeling too. All right, so I'm next. I just put rock sliders on my truck literally last night. I'm kind of curious to use them. I just painted them. It's gonna hurt a little bit when I scratch that paint off. like you've hit the horn in another place on fins and things, Jesse. All right, so I made it down that. That was a lot of fun. I got some new scratches on my frame rails. Rock sliders did a little bit of rock sliding. Zach's gonna take a little bit easier of a line. He doesn't have rock sliders and I feel him for not wanting to try that. So he's up. I don't want to bend any more tie rods or snap a torsion bar like I did before. So I'm gonna take a similar but less exciting line. See, easy peasy. Took the easy line because I can't break anything because I've already broken enough. All right, let's keep up with the deadline. We're going to keep on cruising and see if we get this fire tower before sun runs out. So we're losing sun fast. I hope we can get there in time. We are probably going a little bit faster than we probably should down this trail, but we made it. All right, I am super excited to climb up this and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So what do you say? Let's start heading up there.
This is a climb. We're almost to the top. Both lost stairs. top it is windy sorry if you can't hear me we had to climb through this uh this little hatch door a little bit sketchy but man is this view worth it so there's a ladder we could go up even higher it is really windy and it's a little bit a little bit sketch i mean the ladder the ladder has no like holdings on the bottom big yikes oh it's just yeah. holy i'm gonna do this with one hand one that is uh let me just show you what i'm talking about here it feels like you're about to fall out of this window it's a that's a weird feeling doing it with one hand was terrifying oh you feel it moving in the wind yeah dude <laughs> this is so sketchy i freaking love it uh, we're gonna get done from this hopefully in one piece and we'll see you on the road to camp if we get there so we found a pretty ripping camp site about 15 minutes down the road, we're gonna go hit that and we'll see you guys there. We are at camp now and we are going to cook steak. Mm. Steaks. Henry, how are we gonna cook this steak? All right, so obviously every real YouTube channel has outside cooking. Since no one will watch our channel unless we outside cook, we decided to outside cook. So we have a nice sterilized piece of wood. Jesse and I have washed our hands thoroughly and we're ready to grab our steaks. There's ice on this steak. Which are currently frozen and um, cook them. We're not particularly good at this, by the way. First thing you gotta do is you wanna make sure you get your knife and you wanna maybe, I guess, put butter, I guess, in the pan is that probably what okay we have do? butter in the pan okay butter in the pan okay steak 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 <laughs> okay so now that we have two steaks should we tenderize these steaks we should tenderize these steaks do we should we do with the wood or with the oh probably the wood okay steak is mostly tenderized put a couple slices in it because that will help your seasoning sink into your steak which we are going to season Oh, you know what? What am I doing? There we go. We're gonna season our steak with beer. Uh, I get. Uh, I, I want some. Yeah, a little bit of Miller Lite. Yeah, I, guess. I think I like the Pabst flavor better. Okay. So what do we have to put on our steak? How about some meat tenderized? We didn't even open these. Okay. So some of that. Some of that. I think it smells like beer. <laughs> that could have been a lot, but wow. that's all right. Okay, that is definitely <laughs> a lot. We'll just smooth that sand around. Garlic salt. How do you feel about garlic salt? I love garlic and salt, so you can't go wrong well, with that. Well, all right, we have a bunch of that now. Yeah, what else we got salt. here? Salt and pepper? Well, we Would you do the honors? I mean, we already have salt. Did, oh. Yeah, we already have salt in there, so just a little bit more. This is more like a sea salt. Now, all I do right. like pepper, so don't get cheap on me. Okay. I would like this kind of to be like, you know, when you go to Olive Garden <laughs> and they say more cheese, and I just let them crank it. I literally wait till they're done. Yeah, pretty much. I'll just be talking to them like hey, this. We'll just do this all yeah. day. All right, so I think that's enough. Definitely more butter. More, more, more than that, what is this? I mean, butter, butter. Now, we're going to uh, 
What we should do. <laughs> it looks disgusting. <laughs> nah, this is probably gonna be the best steaks you've ever had because they're definitely clearly made with love. Let's make sure that you uh, sanitize with alcohol and, uh, and, and there you go. So we've obviously sanitized with alcohol and we're good to go now. So I don't think we'll have any food poisoning problems. We'll move these right to the fire and uh, we'll be cooking delicious steaks. Garbage. I mean, you mean steaks in hold no on. time. Hold on, hold on. Never leave home without the tongs. And uh, cook us some, some steaks, dude. I like it. Let's do Let's it. Let's freaking do it, man. Henry, can I have a beer? Absolutely, Mike. I even have the perfect beer claw here. Never leave home without your beer claw. Got it. Beers beer can claw. be very dangerous. Okay, so watch, watch a professional. Here's our beer. Notice she's pretty still. She looks harmless, but you get enough of them together and they make you do all kinds of stupid stuff. So we're gonna be very careful here. We're gonna approach her delicately. Oh, she's a feisty. Oh, she's feisty, right? She's feisty. All right, got it. Okay, now that we have her docile, she's ready to be cracked open. Not sure this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. Ah, we're getting her, mate. See, now she's just pissing off a little bit. Ah, we got her. All right, mate, here you go. Ah, oh, good swig, mate. Delicious. <laughs> ah, it looked pretty refreshing. <laughs> Look at that crispy bugger. Slap around some of that. Get some of the flame taste. Too, maybe a little bit of wood. Little grab and go. You ready, mate? Follow her in. Look, make it look real Pinterest-like. Follow the steamy steak. They're looking pretty done to me. They're like overcooked. No, there's no such thing as I like my steak a little bit bloody. Uh, these, we might have went a little bit too far. Fortunately, I like my steaks well done. So, these are probably perfect. Cameraman? Okay, everybody at one time Time now. for a little taste test. Ready? One, two, it's three. Delicious. All right. A lot of seasoning. Really good though. Follow us for more cooking tips. And amazing backwoods recipes. I think that's a piece of wood. All right, so it's really important that you put away all your stuff nice and clean. This cast iron skillets don't like to be wiped out. So make sure that you don't, um, you know, disrupt that. They, they kind of just like being put away. There we go. Keep it clean. They're trying to get this branch out of this tree, but I missed. What? Hey, good catch, man! Literally throwing our bacon at it. Oh, oh, the direct hit! You gotta hit the. the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I see this now. I, I got no aim. This bacon doesn't fly good. What happens if our bacon gets stuck in the tree? Oh, I don't think he's gonna come out there. Watch out. Ah, this is harder than it looks. So we found this little outcropping thing uh, for an overlook, and uh, it's a it's a pretty good view. It's really freaking high though. Let's get back.
back onto the trails. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I got a hole in my gas tank, mate. Slow it down dramatically. Oh, got it. We'd stuck some tire plugs in your plastic fuel tank, one of the benefits of having a plastic fuel tank, and um, jammed them in, stopped the leak, which is great because we don't want to, you know, damage environment and lose this liquid gold at the same time. So we got the leak stopped. Now we're going to ratchet tie the tank back to the frame, and that'll get us out of here. Let's hook this to the uh, leaf spring and then crank it, and we'll pick up the tank. Then we'll move the truck out of this okay, yeah. uh, danger zone here. Good enough. Are you free? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll pull the truck forward and we'll restack our stones and get the tank where it belongs. You know, I always keep the factory jack in my truck. Always. But I just took it out because I was using it at home for something. Because they're just so convenient. You know what? I actually might have the factory jack in my truck. Yeah, the factory jack. That'll, that'll work. Always keep your factory jack even if you have a high lift. Okay, so what we did is we pulled the truck to a level or spot that was not over a pile of gas because that is extremely dangerous to work in and that could easily start a fire. Another good thing, always have a fire extinguisher on hand in case if something does go south. Feeling pretty confident about this fix that we're about to do, so we should be back on the trail in no time, hopefully. If not, it's gonna be a long tow home. So it looks like when I was coming up this, I think this right here is what did it. Actually, this is part of my gas tank strap right there. Okay, now that's gonna hold the front and we're gonna pivot up the back. So, we're gonna move that, which didn't take much. Crank this down and move it back a little. Go, you man, hit it. Oh my gosh, you got it, nice. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> the way up for now okay yeah, that works all right now i gotta turn up can you hold that for a minute oh, a little axle cut fits right in that log <laughs> okay zach remove stick fixed all right guys we fixed it all up we're about to hit the trail again i we henry worked his freaking bush magic i would have never thought to put a tire plug in a plastic tank as fast as he thought we only lost a quarter tank or probably even a little bit less than a quarter tank we filled up yesterday yeah truck runs it's uh it's not leaking gas the lines are okay we checked all that and it's back in its original seat the straps are holding it they're rated for double the weight the tank could even weigh full of fluid the plug is holding perfectly it's not leaking so we're just going to keep on tripping and uh, fix it back at the shop. Yeah, let's get back on the trail, man. I am thrilled that this is not being pulled out right now. So is this considered uptown and that's considered downtown? Yes. All right, so we made it to this town I think called Thomas. We're gonna stop and get some coffee and just double check our repairs. Uh, and then the next trailhead we think is in driving distance without airing up. I don't wanna have difficulty pulling out anywhere where I did. All right, so me and Zach found spots kind of down here in this grass. I think our coffee shop is actually right down there. Dang. 
We just walked through an art studio. It's very arty. And this guy like fell in love with one of them, but it was way too expensive. It's only 1900 bucks. It was a really cool painting. The guy's a really good artist. I'd love to show it to you, but I don't know if we can like start walking around filming stuff inside of an art studio. But yeah. it was cool. It was kind of like a, like a city skyline, but it was all fuzzy and kind of... It's like a ghost of a city skyline. Yeah. It, it was unique. It was really unique. And the farther you got away from it, the more it would like almost change. Like you could see more detail. It was, yeah. It, it was the only painting I think I've seen. You could stand farther away and see more detail. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, no paint left on it. Oh, I, I love them things. That's a survivor, man. All right, so this is the spot that we came across for our campsite. Thinking this might be it, I kind of like how it's kind of it's kind of mossy and green over there. You got a nice little brook right there. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's perfect for us. It fits us all, and it's raining, and we're under the canopy, so that's perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next adventure. You never know where we're gonna go next. Jesse lied. <laughs> We know exactly where we're going to go. We're going to go in our vehicles and head north, south, west, northwest, east, south, any degree. So we do know where we're not going. We do know where we're not going. Uh -huh. But do we know where we are going? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, a direction with purpose and we never stay or actually end up in that spot. Usually somewhat close. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right guys, so it's Henry's birthday today. He just woke up and me and Zach made him a birthday cake. It's made out of mud, moss, mushrooms, and leaves. <laughs> Let's see if he likes it. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Henry. Happy birthday to you. Don't forget to blow out the mushroom. <laughs> I see you running over there. I'm like, what the heck are they both doing? Now I, I see you made a large dirt cake. Yeah, just, for, just you, for you, bro. It's one of my favorites. I love dirt cake. Take wow. a bite. <laughs> it's very good, guys. Thank we, you. We did our best. We yeah. tried. We did a good job. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. <laughs> it's really good. How old are you now? 37. Dude, you're old. You're about as old as a plate of dirt. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, so let me get a Holy <laughs> these are hot. <laughs> Do you want to know what the best campsites are in the Appalachian Mountains? Yes. Jesse, where the hell are we? <laughs> we are so... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to find some cool camp spots in the Black Bone Mountains? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and find Wait, them. Let's do that again. <laughs> All, right, All right. I don't know if you can hear it. I've already attracted some sort of strange clunk from my front end. Probably those uh, cheap U-bolts I shouldn't have used. Oh, boy. I think your friends make more sense. Then I have the job for you. He's a cameraman, mate. He's setting up his camera. It's a very delicate procedure. You don't want to f*** him when he's doing it. <laughs> just witnessed was an angry hornet chasing a local gazelle. They're not very fast. <laughs> uh. And 
action. Come ride with me. No, fly with me. Come fly with me. I don't know what I'm telling. Bouncing down the road. Sorry.